The statute of limitations. What is it? How does it apply? Where does it apply? Everybody knows the term, but what are we talking about? Uh, we can talk about it in both a personal injury context and we can talk about it in a criminal context. So first I want to talk about it in a, in a personal injury context. Your statute of limitations, generally speaking, is the situation where it's the, the law, the principle that you have to file a claim within a certain period of time or you are barred from filing it because it's stale. Um, witnesses die, documents disappear, people's memories fade, proving the case is going to be very difficult. So you have to file a claim within a certain period of time and if you don't do it, you can't sue. You're completely prohibited from doing it. Any plaintiff's attorney is going to talk to you about, you know, the statute of limitations. One of the first things they're going to ask you is when did the accident happen? And they're going to go through their mind. They're going to, you know, try and figure out exactly how long they have to file suit. And if it's up against the statute of limitations, um, they're not going to, you know, if you're coming up against the deadline, they're not going to take your case. Um, generally speaking, in any negligence case, a personal injury case, we're talking about a three-year statute of limitations. So you've got three years from the date of a car accident to sue. Um, if it's a medical malpractice case, your doctor left a sponge in your stomach after they, you know, performed some surgery removing your gallbladder. It's two years from the date of the accident, uh, date of the incident until you can file suit. If it's a wrongful death case, somebody passes away. It's two years from the formation of the estate. So somebody has to form an estate for the deceased person and then you have two years from the formation of the estate to file a lawsuit. If you're suing a government entity, um, what am I talking about? You step off the corner and you get hit by a local city bus. You got a two-step process. First of all, you got to file a notice of claim against the city within 90 days of the accident. So if you're talking about suing the government, you got to get on it quickly. Second is your statute of limitations is a year and 90 days. Um, and those are generally the statute of limitations periods that you're going to be talking about in a civil case. When it comes to the criminal cases, if you're charged with a misdemeanor, it's generally a three-year statute of limitations. When you're charged with a felony, it's generally a five-year statute of limitations unless you're talking about your really high-grade felonies and there are plenty of crimes that are very serious where there is no statute of limitations, like murder, rape, arson, terrorism, things of that nature. They will, the, the, the law indicates that there is no statute of limitations on crimes of that nature just because they are so serious. Um, that being said, in, in short, it's a complicated analysis. You need to have an attorney that knows what they're doing. You need to consult counsel that litigates cases on a regular basis and engages in these sorts of, you know, analysis on a daily basis. So I would suggest you give us a call, talk to us. Our consultations are free of charge and we will let you know if you have a viable lawsuit or if the statute of limitations is blown and we're certainly conscious of it. I keep a spreadsheet of all my cases that have statute of limitation dates on it so that, you know, we don't blow the statute on our cases um, and we check it regularly.